Due to all the response on the G5 SE video, I thought I'd give a little bit of information on how the G7 mines. So this is the G7 and it has the 2070 Max-Q. This has a lot of drawbacks. It, it's a much better built laptop than the G5 SE. It has an aluminum bottom. Um, it has some of the same quirks that happened with the G5 SE and at max it can only mine around 36 mega hash per second and that is completely dependent on temperature so over here in the msi afterburner right now uh the the card's at 52c 52c means that i can run this around 35 and a half mega hash if this drops down to 49c uh it will be a little above 36. if this increases in temperature uh, to 60C, which it will do sometimes, and the, the cooling solution on this is completely nuts. So, gaming mode is on. This will turn off by itself every 36 hours or so for, for no apparent reason. Um, and it's in rapid cool mode, which makes noise. It's also lifted up on my new laptop rack. Um, what happens with this is that, well, there, there's quite a few <laughs> caveats to using this. So, first of all, um, my memory is overclocked a uh, little over 1200 megahertz right now. And most people say you can't do that. Well, there's a, a reason for that. And um, you'll, you'll usually hit a wall around 900 megahertz if there's a, the, the cooling isn't enough. So if, you, if you're above 60 degrees Celsius and you try to go over 900, it will just fail. That or if you're using another minor mining program other than T-Rex. T-Rex is 100% stable for days on end, above 900 megahertz if you use uh, Excavator or some other program uh, to mine with, depending on what you're doing, and this is testing with NiceHash right now, you will not be able to go over 900 megahertz. So right now, uh, I also, when you, when you step up like that, I have a, a set of um, set defaults. So I start at 700 and then slowly, gradually go up my middle step is 900 megahertz and then i have four and five set to 1100 and then 1200 megahertz and that again that only applies and i have the the uh, the gpu under clocked as, as far as i can uh, that only applies directly and correlates directly with temperature so you you are only going to get that max memory speed if you actually stay below or at 50 degrees Celsius. There is some software issue with that Alienware software where it doesn't stay on or something odd happens with it where you're, you're going to need to come in and make sure that gaming mode enables, again, every 36 hours or so. And, and now it's slowing down again. So I basically what I do with this is I will cycle gaming mode on and off high performance mode and once i've cycled it now the fan speeds messed up anyway okay so it's re-enabled and i'll hit yeah the temperature goes up quick i'll hit my fifth setting lock it in and at most so normally that's the only thing you need to do to keep this running 24 7. Uh, the screen is incredible on this. This is a 15 inch OLED. It's the nicest screen and I have an Alienware with an OLED. This is the nicest screen I've ever seen on a laptop. So it's kind of sad to waste it on mining, but uh, it is also pretty lame compared to a, a desktop 2080 in comparison that does 43 mega hash. So uh, also it's super noisy. So I'd hate to use this for anything else but mining because it would be almost completely useless to me. Um, I, I guess if you're doing, well, if you're using something for this for desktop processing or something, then it's going to have bad battery life. And if you use it for gaming, then it's gonna be really noisy. The, the uh, surface temperature, of, with the cooling working around 38C, that will go over 40 if gaming mode turns off. So something to, to keep in mind is that uh, you need to watch that to, to make sure that you're, you're not going to cook the laptop. So as long as it's in gaming mode, I don't think it's going to cook. But again, it, it's, it's almost as bad as the G5 SE, but, but not quite as bad. I also have the, the screen turn off automatically after two minutes. And basically it, it runs around right at 100 watts mining. 
So that's that's 36 mega hash at 100 watts, continuous. I, I don't think that it's not great, but it's also not terrible.